Hello my friends, I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm going to compare commercial supercapacitor with my homemade supercapacitor. So, I have here 500 farad commercial supercapacitor. Most of you are familiar with these kinds of supercapacitor. And also, I have here 500 farad homemade supercapacitor. Uh, before we get started the video, I'm going to show you the inside of my homemade supercapacitor because uh, some of you, my friends, when watch these kinds of videos on YouTube, most of you think that these videos are fake. So some of you think that uh, could think that there is a hidden battery or a hidden supercapacitor inside this plastic tube. So, uh, but be sure that there is no fake video on my channel. So I'm going to show you uh, the inside of my homemade supercapacitor. By the way, if you want to make these kinds of professional looking uh, homemade supercapacitor, there will be a link over here. You can uh, click on that link and uh, I have a video about how to make supercapacitor step by step on my channel. If you want to build to make these kinds of homemade supercapacitor, you can click on that video and learn how to make these kinds of professional looking supercapacitor. That video is a very nice video, so I highly recommend you to uh, visit that video and watch that video. So, before we get started the video, I'm going to show you the inside of my homemade supercapacitor. Okay. As you see inside in the plastic tube, I have my homemade supercapacitor. It is a little bit wet, as you see, because it's inside an electrolyte. So it's not a fake uh, supercapacitor. There is no hidden supercapacitor or battery inside this plastic tube. And um, we can start to our video. We will compare these two supercapacitors and we will try to understand uh, our homemade supercapacitor as good as commercial supercapacitor. We'll see uh, what it can do. Okay, let's start. Okay, my friends, the first test will be charging test. Although these two capacitors have the same uh, capacitance, 500 farad, the amount of energy they store is completely different because of their voltage operation, operating voltage is different. My homemade supercapacitor, the operating voltage of my homemade supercapacitor is 1.2 volt and the operating voltage of the commercial supercapacitor is 2.7 volts. So, according to this formula, the amount of energy this supercapacitor, commercial supercapacitor stored is 1800 joules. And again, according to the same formula, the, am the amount of energy my homemade supercapacitor store is about 360 uh, joules. So we can say that this commercial capacitor can store five more times energy than my homemade supercapacitor. So to some extent, compare these to compare these two capacitors under the same conditions, I am going to charge both capacitors up to 1.2 volts. So when we charge up to 1.2 volt, it means that these two capacitors will have uh, will store same amount of energy. So it will be a fair competition between these um, two uh, supercapacitors. So first of all, I'm going to charge the commercial supercapacitor. Again, according to the uh, formula, if you charge this uh, supercapacitor with one amp, it should take 10 minutes according to this formula it should take 10 minutes to charge up to 1.2 volt before get start charge the capacitors i'm going to show you the uh, initial voltage inside both uh, super capacitor i'm going to take my uh, multimeter i've just short circuit the both super capacitor and set to the voltage mode and This initial voltage, as you see, uh, there is no voltage inside the commercial supercapacitor. It's zero volt. Now, just look at the homemade supercapacitor. And again, as you see, there is a uh, zero voltage inside my homemade supercapacitor. Okay, first let's start charge our commercial supercapacitor up to 1.2 volt. I just connect the positive and the negative. I will charge with one amp. Okay.
Okay, my friends, after charging 10 minutes, now we will uh, measure the uh, voltage inside the commercial supercapacitor. Again, I set to my multimeter to voltage mode, and I'm just going to uh, measure the voltage inside my supercapacitor. And as you see, there is 1.2322 volt inside the supercapacitor. Now it's time to charge my um, homemade supercapacitor. Okay, let's start to charge. Okay, my friends, after charging about 10 minutes, now it's time to measure the voltage inside my homemade supercapacitor. Okay, I've got my multimeter again, and <clears throat> as you see, there is 1.2122 voltage inside my homemade supercapacitor. Now, we can move on the second test. Okay, my friends, the second test will be discharging test. I have here um, RC helicopter DC motor here. These kinds of DC motor can consume a lot of energy in a very short time. Otherwise, if I use another uh, DC motor, the video will, would be very long. So I'm going to use this DC motor. It can consume a lot of energy in a very short time. So we will see uh, how many minutes it will take to uh, discharge this uh, supercapacitor completely. Now, first I'm going to discharge the commercial supercapacitor. I will just connect to the DC motor and set a timer to measure how many times it will take. I'm just putting here my timer and I will just connect. Okay, just start. Okay, it took 2 minutes and 55 seconds. Now it's time to uh, discharge my homemade supercapacitor. Okay, now I will connect my homemade supercapacitor. Just start. Okay, my friends, it took two minutes to run this DC motor. So we can say that um, 
our commercial supercapacitor is a little bit better than my homemade supercapacitor. So um, uh, commercial supercapacitor is the winner of this round. So we can move to the second test. Now I will um, again charge up to 1.2 volt these two supercapacitor and I will just make a short circuit. So we'll see uh, if these two supercapacitor can burn a um, copper wire or not. Okay, my friends, for the second test, I am going to use 5 centimeters long and 0.2 millimeter thick copper wire. I will just short circuit with my commercial supercapacitor and we will see what it can do. Okay, look closely. Oh. See, it burns the copper wire. Oh, that's good. Now it's time to uh, do the same test with my homemade supercapacitor. Okay, my friends, I am going to do the same test with my homemade supercapacitor. Oh, oh, that's nice. As you see, it can also uh, burn the copper wire. Not as good as the commercial one, but it also uh, burned the Couple wire almost melted it, so we can say that our homemade supercapacitor almost had the same quality with commercial one. Okay, my friends, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe my channel and like the video. And also, if you want to make these kinds of homemade supercapacitor, you can also uh, visit my channel. There's a very nice video on my channel about how to make uh, a homemade supercapacitor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take, take care of yourself, my friends. See you in the next videos.